guys welcome back to our channel so I am currently standing outside in front of my house because uh, so many of you that know us personally know that we have recently moved and with all of my surgeries and COVID-19 hitting we've not had um, a chance to really have anybody come over and visit so a lot of you guys have asked that we do a house tour so Today, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you guys on a house tour of the house. Come along with me. All right, guys. So this is the front of the house. As you come across here, we do have a one car garage. And yes, my car does match the house. And that is the color that we actually painted it. Um, in this video, you're going to see a glimpse of what the original house looked like when it was first built and then what the previous owners had it looking like and then what we've done since we've moved in here which has changed um, a lot of the stuff outside to the blue. Um, as I said before in several of my videos, Vivint Smart Home, that too protects our house. We love it. We have glass protection. All of the windows and doors have alarms on them. We have the uh, doorbell camera. We have a backyard camera, love it. Um, I will put uh, a link in the description of who you can contact. Uh, the service is impeccable, so we highly recommend them. Uh, we do have a seating area up here on the front porch, uh, mainly for Matt. Here is our doorbell. Uh, yes, uh, mainly for Matt, just because he he doesn't wear his work shoes in the house currently. Um, a lot of you all know where we work. Some of you don't, but where we do work, um, we work around a lot of grease. So we don't like to have our shoes in the house. Um, but if we do have to have them, you're also going to see there is a mat on my floor here in the uh, living room. Uh, I hate it. I feel like a grandpa and a grandma having this. Well, we kind of are grandma and grandpas, but I feel like an old couple having this runner mat in our house, but it actually does protect and um, salvage our carpet, which I said in another video, um, we've just recently discovered that we may possibly have hardwood floors. If we do, uh, we are going to, you know, look into that. And if we do, we are going to have those restored and try to take the lower half of the house all back to hardwood floors. But let's make our way into the house. As you can see here, we do have this fancy door lock I love it um, if I'm in a hurry and I just want to go I can just hit this and of course it locks the door now I'm gonna ring the doorbell which is gonna notify Matt that somebody is at the door which it's actually notified me it says someone ring your doorbell but we'll let him open the door if he actually comes and opens it I'll give him a few seconds and if not then um, yeah he's probably not gonna come Will you open the door so I don't have to show everybody my uh, security code? What do I get out of it? My love and my affection. No. <laughs> oh, let's show them what it does. What? Show them what it does. Show your phone. So, yes. When it you ring the doorbell or a package gets delivered, it will actually pop up on our phone and then we can click on the link and we can go right to to our front door here and see who's at the door. So there's that. All right, as you walk into the house, we have the living room here. Um, to my left is our fireplace. Now, when we first moved in here, this fireplace was the same color of the actual outside brick and I'm sorry I even hate the outside brick um, if I can talk Matt into it I will eventually ah! <laughs> I will eventually either have it professionally painted or maybe stone washed like this because I just it's it was such an ugly orange color but this is our fireplace that we refinished uh, we painted it we put a new mantle on. Um, the previous owners had a, 
it almost looked like a bookshelf is, is exactly what it looked like. But um, they uh, we replaced that and put this mantle on. I'm not going to lie. It is hollow. We got it at Lowe's. I think we paid, I want to say around $150, $200, something like that. It, it wasn't very much, but... We had it mounted, and then we took the front off. Um, that was originally a brass color. We took the front off and spray painted it with, what is that, engine paint? Like car engine paint so that it can withstand high heat so that when winter comes and we want to have a fire, we can have that. My bookshelves, they are metal. Uh, originally, when we come and look at the house, the previous owners had... Uh, some kind of lamps, which you'll see that in the video. Um, I have like before and after pictures, but they had some kind of lamp or something that was sitting on each side. And, you know, Matt has a ton of these books. These are all his. Uh, majority of them are Stephen King books. So I was determined to get him a bookshelf for once and, and you know, finally. And uh, that way he'd have a place to put his books. And I do want to say, you're going to be so shocked. So much of my stuff in this house, guys, has come from Facebook Market. I'm not exaggerating. Um, when we moved here, I was so determined to get different furniture. Um, you know, it was a nicer house. Not that our old house was not good, but, you know, this one was much nicer. And I was so determined to make sure that we got new furniture and new items that um, most of the stuff I got off of Facebook Market. Everybody is so shocked, and I'll, when I go into the dining room, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. That was the first piece of item that I purchased, and pretty much said, this is what I want to base my house around. So, um, I will show you this, um, to kind of give you a little sneak peek. It is a, a solid wood dining room table that retails for about $1,800 to $2,000, and we literally paid five hundred dollars for it there's not a scratch on it the woman had it professionally cleaned every year i mean the table is just beautiful so yes i was determined to make sure that i got new new furniture and i just wanted to tell you guys if you're skeptical about buying anything off of facebook market don't be um buy away you'll be impressed so let's get back into this all right so these two couches which, where he's at, <laughs> let me go back to you, hello, those came from Facebook Market, uh, the two bookshelves, those however did come from uh, Walmart, so when you come over here, and yes, don't mind the mess please, we are actually in the process of filming another video that will come shortly after this one, but this is the the uh, dining room table. Um, it came with two leaves. It's all hand carved, as you can see. I mean, just beautiful. She's had the seats professionally cleaned. Um, I think they're called captain seats, but it came with two captain seats and then, of course, the four other chairs. But that was purchased from Facebook Market. Um, let's see here. We'll go from here into the kitchen which it's not a huge kitchen it is kind of small let me kind of go back here um it's in a u shape and it is kind of small but it has been completely updated um with paint now they they had already installed the backsplash and the countertop and changed the cabinets and stuff and then updated the appliances which they are all samsung um but we did change the paint. Um, the paint in here was, oh, I can't even explain it, a putrid brownish color. I mean, it was just, it was disgusting. So we did, we did end up changing the paint and uh, matched it with the towel. Uh, for anybody that may be curious, these floors, I know it looks like it is, um, oh, plywood or pressed particle board. They are actually cork flooring. Uh, yes, I said that correctly. These floors are made out of cork. Now, the dining room, the kitchen, 
and the cat room um, and the living room are all of the rooms that we discovered that were uh, hardwood floors. So we are hoping that they are definitely hardwood floors and we can, we can, you know, redo those. From the kitchen, you go into just a half bath. We didn't change anything in here um, other than, you know, I, I bought a new cheap little pitcher to put in here and, you know, some soap and uh, toothpaste holder dispenser. That's about it. So then we come in here into the cat room. Uh, we didn't do much in here either just because I knew it was going to be the cat room. I bought a pitcher for the wall, which I'll, I'll pan over there. Got some decals, put it on there. Um, you know, we knew this was going to be mainly my plant room. The cat jungle gym with the litter box. And then as I pan over here, oh, there's our backyard. It's fairly decent sized. It's all fenced in. We've got a nice little patio here. Huge tree right there. And then we've got a ditch behind us, so it does block the neighbors, um, so we can't see those. So um, I really enjoy that. We do have some privacy. So I'll pan over to here. And here is my 120 gallon tank. I know I've showed this in a previous video. Um, my fish are kind of my babies. This is my front, um, not frontos, I'm sorry. This is my, <laughs> look at him. He's so excited to see me. He's hungry and he eats all the time. Um, this is a flower horn fish. I will post a picture of what he'll look like. Eventually, unfortunately, he will be, and possibly just one other fish, will be the only fish that it will be allowed in this tank because they are very aggressive and he'll end up killing everybody else out. And you'll be shocked by the way he looks now and what he will look like when he's fully grown. All right, so we come back out here. Circle back around. Here is our Scrabble wall, which we have shown in a previous video. And it leads to the staircase going upstairs. Um, now, I won't go up there with you guys. You'll see that in the video. But up there is mainly um, our full bath, Maverick's room, which is our grandson. Yes, he has his own room here at our house. But you'll see his room. Our room is up there. And Matt's man cave, which is the Superman room, which I actually did a video on. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. We love you. What a wonderful What a wonderful I
What a wonderful world Myself. What a wonderful world.